Welcome back to my video tutorial for Microsoft Access. My name is Chiwon from iaccessful.com. In this video, I will show you how to get the email list for Microsoft Excel. Uh, I have Microsoft Excel here, a customer file with the list of email which is here. And I want to put together and then I can copy and put in or place in Microsoft uh, Outlook. If we copy here and when I open Microsoft Outlook, okay when I open Microsoft Outlook here and then I press it and you will see this like this. This one we cannot send like this. You know Microsoft Outlook normally you will need to put like the semicolon after each uh, email like this. You will have to do it like this. Okay, this one I already created. I got a import from the list, which is over here. That's an email field. Some customer doesn't have email, and it's blank. You want you don't want it. You just script that part and just copy the one they have email. And another file is all the email. I have two table here, which is contain uh, the email field, which is. I can select from this drop down and generate the list of email. You just click here, you see all this. It skip the blank and when we separate by semicolon. And now I can just copy here and put in our look like this. This one is that is sendable uh, email address. Or you can select from another table from here. You just generate list here. You see all this, and you just copy and then paste it. Okay, what we're gonna start from import uh, file for Microsoft Excel. And I wanna import another file for Microsoft Excel. Just go to external data and go to Excel, new folder, which is customer file. Okay, like this. Okay, the first row as a field name. Okay. Now I have customer table file, which is this one. Customer name and the email right here. Okay. The next step, we're gonna create the form to create it and create from bank form and go to the side view like this. We want to import a combo box, which is this one. Okay, we just cancel that combo box. Select table. Okay, we want to select the table from these two table. What we're gonna do? How we gonna import or put insert the table name to this combo box? Okay, we have to have some kind of like a code. In this video, I will put under the open event procedure or loading event procedure. This combo box is a uh, combo box zero. I can name it Sibo. Get table. Okay. Go back to the all load event. Me dot Sibo get table. Table dot pro source. The first one equal to uh, get table. Please. 
where it comes from, get table list. It's a function. We need to create a function for this. Just copy and now we create the function this function you can put under the module okay for example uh, this function is kind of like a generic function you can use in another form too I we cut it uh, we put in the module and then we can call it if you want to use it again in another form let's start with dim dbs the database the clear as a table dip string list as string now we set db equal to queen db and now we use the for loop for each tda that's a table in db dot table dev there you go when we have the for loop we always put next dba at the end that's a close for loop now if is lab tda dot name let's see for not equal to ms and then string list equal to string list and tdf dot name and there's a semicolon between the field and if why we use table name for not equal to ms first if we don't use this for example we just use in the table put all table in the combo box get table list equal to string list and set e dip go to nothing and then we close db close and then set db to nothing save as Okay, form one and module one. Now we go back to form one. You see when it's load, and then we put all the table on the combo box. Just run it with the form. Now you can see the all the table list here. MS Excel, MS Complex, MSIS Access. Okay, we want. Uh, display already the table name which is not the system table you so this one is built in um, table by the system the first four we don't want to show in there we just use the we want to get already two table here okay we forgot to add string over here because um because we're gonna pass the value as string is called the list of the email now have to return something from here function and as string okay that uh, open the form now we get the message error it showed the two 
table in here, but however, we there's an error message. Now we need to check on that design view. Click on the combo box. Now you can see row sort is a table and query, but the the one we put in here by the code from this get table list function. Now we need to change this one to the value list. Okay, let me view again. Now you see the two table on the list here, which is from this table and the table customer. Okay, we got that two table list. Now we just uh, put this on the tag box, the list of the email. Just go to tag box here. Okay. Email list format. Now we also need to create a generate email uh, email list here. Get email list, and then also the button to create. Create the email list from the box. Okay. Now we need to put code under this. On the click event, well, we need to put some code when we click it, and what it's gonna look like. We need to put uh, me dot take two. I think the name of the tag is here is take two. We can change it to txt email list and save it. txt email list equal to get email list the function where it come from now we need to create the function for this get email list too we can put in there function get email list Okay, what we're gonna do from here? Maybe do the same thing. Dim db as database. Dim rs as record set. Dim string list as string. Uh, we initiate the string list equal to rank and set db equal to current db and set rs equal to db dot open record set and me dot sibo from the combo box and db open table okay we're gonna put all the email list in the record set and we need to use the do uh, until loop rs dot in of file eof If it's no RS uh, email field, then RS uh, move next. Else, string list equal to string list RS uh, dot field. 
Feel what? Feel name is an email. And semicolon. You can see from here, it's the email field. And another file here is the same thing, email field. That's what we can name it as an email field on board. Now we need to finish this. And I is move next. And if and get email list equal to string list. Before we do that, we have to end loop. Loop first. When we get all the email on the list and put in the string, string list, and then we put on in the function. After that, we set our s equal to nothing. We close it. We close it. db dot close. Set db equal to nothing. That's it. Now we get the email list function. Okay, and then we put in the under this command. Okay, we view the form and click on this after we select this table. Let's see. We get the all email list and email field here. We have some records. It doesn't have email. We just skip it because it show under the code. Let's see if it's no email and we boom next. Um, if we select this another table and we generate the email list, you see all the email lists here, which is separated by the com the semicolon, and then you can copy it and put on the Outlook. You can put on here. You get all this. Okay. Now we also need to put the code under the clear list. Okay, we just clear under the click event. Here you text email list equal to null. That's it. The clear. Let's create and get the email list. Or you can select one and get the list from another table. The next step, we want to improve our function a little bit on that. Let's see, we have another table here. Okay, create table and save it. Okay, now we have three table here. This table may be uh, name okay number we have three table here now when we order the form it gonna show all three table here employee table or somehow in here it doesn't have the email field we don't want it to show in this combo box because if we if it show near and then we select it and we click on get the email list it's nothing gonna come out because this table doesn't have the email list and we need to put some more code in there to show or pick up already the table is they have the email field on this combo box Okay, just go back. Now we have to go back and get the table list. We have to improve in here a little bit on that. We have to create some function to test, check to see if its email field exists. Function check email. Check email field. 
I guess string table as string string fill as string two as boolean. We just wanted to see is this table have the email field or not. If not, and we don't want to include in this combo box. Dim dbs the database uh, is as record set dim i as integer. The db equal to current database current db set r is equal to db dot open record set table table from here table string table and db open table We use the for loop i over here. For i equal to zero to rs field dot count minus one to the end of the field count. If string field equal to r dot fill dot item item i dot name then okay over here check email field equal to true and exit function next i okay and set email equal to four after it's done and then set check email to equal four set r s equal to nothing How it work? We're gonna use a record set to check all that field in the table from the first field to the end of the field on that table. If the field name you see here, if the field name equal to string field name, to this string field name is what we can name it to email, and then. The function equal to true. Okay, that how we gonna use it. Okay, we gonna go back. We got the this uh, function name with the input parameter is a table and then the field name. Two input in there. Where we gonna implement? That? We gonna implement it on this get table list. When we get when we gonna get table, we need to check that first. Okay, now we put if if check email field. What table is it? Is from here for each table, tdf dot name and what field name? We use the email field name. Okay, with inside the double quote and then 
do this job and then put all the email on the list together and end it. Now we just implement this line because we use the check email field function from this down here. If the table doesn't have the email field in there and we don't want to include in the combo box. Okay, that's done. Now go back to build a form. Now you see already is customer buy by item, by this item and then table customer. Where's the employee? This employee table is not included in this because employee table doesn't have the email field. You see, they have already in this one and the top one. That's how we implement um, the function to get our table that have the email field using the check email field function to test it first if it's the field is not equal to email and then we don't include in that okay that how is work on it let's try again to import the customer file again Okay. Okay. One call. We put two customer two. Now we load the form again. Now we have three table in the list: customer and customer two, because both have the email list. That's how it works. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.